Hi everyone, I uh, just wanted to do a very quick video. Uh, I got this today from America. It's a Radler 50. Uh, they're quite uncommon in the UK. You don't really see them come up for sale that often on eBay. Um, I imported this one in from America. Uh, I got it, uh, paid $60 for it with uh, $30 shipping. And then I had to pay another £27 um, in, in sort of, you know, VAT and customs charges. Um, so I have a bit of pitch blend here, um, which is this meter here is reacting to. Now this is uh, a GMC 300E uh, made by GQ. It's an American meter, again, um, made in China. And I've had this for about oh, three or four months now. And it's a nice little meter, but it's quite slow. Uh, and it doesn't detect alpha radiation. Um, it does gamma and beta fine, but it doesn't do, there's the little window there. And uh, it doesn't do alpha. So it won't pick up uh, very, very sort of low, uh, you know, radiation levels. And I wanted something that when I was out walking, I could, uh, you know, I could check sort of minerals and things like that there. So you can see this has a, an alpha window there. Um, so I'm gonna detect on this piece here. Now this is probably the, second um, strongest um, source I have, a uh, piece of pitch blend um, from South Terrace Mine in uh, Cornwall, uh, which is one of the most radioactive places in the whole of the UK, uh, former uranium mine. So I've got this on counts per minute, and I'm gonna try and keep the audio off, because um, is this one's quite loud, little speaker there, piece of speaker there, and uh, we'll see the count. So I'm, yeah, I usually get about 110 um, microsieverts with this, uh, so I should be getting uh, 15 uh, millironcan, and the count per minute uh, should be around about 115, something like that there. So we will switch it on and see what happens. Okay, and the way the uh, Radler 50 works is it'll count for a minute, uh, then it'll stop, and then every minute after that, uh, it'll update the reading. Um, so it's it's going up pretty high, uh, very, very quickly. Um, so as I said before, of this night, again, this mightn't be a big alpha emitter, this might only be beta and gamma emitter. So I mightn't get a very, you know, a different reading on this than I would do on that, but I'm just, I'll get the reading faster on this. Um, so as you can see, it's, it is flying up pretty quickly there. And, um, you know, we're only probably about 30 seconds in. So we'll see, we're up to nine, we're nearly up to 10 already. Okay, so as you can see, the little display there is come up saying multiply by a thousand. So you multiply that by a thousand. So we're on 1,200. So there we are. So we're on 1,297 uh, counts per minute. And in millironcan, that's 12.97. So in uh, millisieverts, uh, that would be, or no, not millisieverts, uh, microsieverts, that would be uh, 120, uh, 130. Uh, millisieverts, microsieverts. <laughs> so uh, yeah, reasonably, um, reasonably radioactive. That obviously this isn't a very big alpha emitter um, because the you know the readings reasonably similar. Um, and let's see what else I have here. So I'll turn it off again. Um, I'll put this piece here. Uh, this is another uh, piece of pitch blend, and I'll put that up to the alpha window. And we'll see what this one does. And I have this in millironcan, so I'll switch it to uh, counts per minute. And this one is usually about 3,000. Uh, this piece gets to uh, in beta and gamma. So we'll see what it gets to in uh, with alpha, with an alpha window. Okay, I can already see that it might get more than 3,000, which means that this uh, is producing alpha. Okay, interesting. 
Right, well that's already past what that metre, uh, 3200 was as much as I would pick up with that. So this is obviously quite a strong alpha emitter. Okay, that's good to see. Okay, we're up around 5,000. So there we go, 5,142 currents per minute. And that works out at 5.142 uh, millironcan, which would be uh, 50, uh, 0.142 uh, microsieverts. So, you know, in the day, it's not, it's not highly dangerous. Obviously I can touch it and wash my hands afterwards, but you don't want to be crushing this up and eating it. Um, or sleeping beside it. Um, so that's quite good. And then the only other things I have in here, um, I have a, an old pocket watch. And as you can see, it's uh, 23.4 microsieverts, uh, which we're working out then as uh, 2.34. So we'll try that and see what we're getting in this. So i put that right up again to the alpha window. And we'll go counts per minute again. And I'll, I'll turn the audio on this time. So the reason this is radioactive is it has uh, radium dials and the, the hands are coated in radium paint. And uh, that's, uh, that's why this uh, pocket watch is radioactive. Again, not dangerous the way it is, but if I was to take the glass off, if the dust was to come out and if I was to breathe in the dust into my lungs, it, uh, it wouldn't be good. So as you can see there, that's the highest I've measured on this was 23.4. Uh, so you will be looking at this getting to, you know, 2,300. So it might, might just reach there. I reckon it will, yeah, there we go, 1,500. So that's 1.52 millironcan, and that works out at uh, 15 uh, microsieverts. So still, you know, but it's, obviously you can see the, uh, the radium paint, that's the brown paint painted over the dials. So it's a, uh, yeah, nice little meter. Glad I got it. And uh, I'll have another little play of it. I'm gonna clean it up now. Uh, literally just took it out of the box and put a battery on it. So I'm gonna clean it up now and uh, see what else I can do with it. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, the next video will be on the dosimeter chargers, on the personal dosimeter chargers. And that should be up uh, the end of this week. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.